Live from the heart of Hollywood, it's Lights, Camera, Take Action. A star-studded telethon to benefit the Motion Picture and Television Fund, supporting workers behind the scenes of the entertainment industry for a century. Help us provide essential health and social services to working and retired members of the Hollywood community with superstar appearances tonight by Jeff Bridges, Jodie Foster, Hugh Jackman, Kate Hudson, Bill Rosenthal, Janelle Monet, Keegan-Michael Key, Marvel's Kevin Feige, and many more. And special performances by David Foster, Catherine McVie, Brad Paisley, Johnny Mathis, and a special not-to-be-missed musical moment from Annette O'Toole and Michael McKeon. KTLA's Sam Rubin joins the stars in our Take Action phone bank. I'm Ellen Kay. Now here are your hosts, Tom Bergeron and Yvette Nicole Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lights, Camera, Take Action, a telethon for MPTF. I'm still Tom Bergeron, <laughs> and tonight I am thrilled to be your second favorite host, alongside my talented friend who received an Emmy nomination Hi. since we last co-hosted <laughs> together, the wonderful and always award-worthy Yvette Nicole Brown. Oh, thank you, Tom. I love you, too. And there will be something special in your stocking this year for mentioning that, and I'll put it right next to your Emmy. Okay. All right, and thank you to all of you special people out there for joining us in a parade of shining stars for these next two very beautiful and meaningful hours. We are all here coming to help to support a place that provides something very necessary, comfort and joy to so many, the Motion Picture and Television Fund. That is right, Yvette, tonight and for an action-packed century now, ever since another great actress like you <laughs> named Mary Pickford first got things going. MPTF has been making a tremendous difference in the lives of everyday people working on all sides of the camera in every sort of job to bring us all lifetimes of entertainment. And tonight, we're here because it's urgently important that we do all we can to make a difference for MPTF. The season of light and giving is here. And tonight we're here to spread a lot of light and we hope to raise a lot of money to help keep MPTF shining for so many members of our community for another century to come. Absolutely. And now to tell you a little bit more about what this night in MPTF is all about, let's hear from a beloved Oscar winning actor who grew up on TV and movie sets and knows why it's so crucial that we all come together tonight. The dude himself. I'm going to have a white rush. I know. Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Jeff Bridges here. We call it show business, but spending so much time of my life on movie and TV sets has taught me this. At its best, show business somehow becomes a very real community, even a kind of family. This is true not just for those famous names above the title, but for everybody on both sides of that camera. The whole crew pulling together to make some magic. That's why decades ago, I started taking family photos on sets. I published two books of those photographs, donating the profits to the Motion Picture Television Fund. MPTF is there to support and sometimes even save the lives of those in our community whose creative work gives us joy, brings us to tears, and touches our hearts. So when the times get hard, as they have for so many in recent years, MPTF is there to help so that many of these professionals can weather the storm and have a safe and loving place to call home. With our help, MPTF can continue to be their safety net but in this season of giving, we all need to rally around this special place in our community and in our hearts. Please, give if you can. Lights, camera, take action. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks to our presenting sponsors, too, City National Bank and UCLA Health. And thanks to KTLA here in the heart of Los Angeles for hosting us. Tonight, we're bringing you musical performances from legends like Johnny Mathis, Brad Paisley, and David Foster, and Catherine McPhee. And we're so thrilled that a very winning couple, Annette O'Toole and Michael McKean, are here with, with us to perform the Oscar-nominated song from a movie I love, A Mighty Wind. They are all here to be the mighty wind <laughs> beneath MPTF's wings, and we love them for it. But that's not all. Tonight, Somebody that everybody loves, Phil Rosenthal of Somebody Feed Phil fame, <laughs> will be taking us all on a little trip to the MPTF campus. And 
We'll have appearances by remarkable folks from in front of and behind the camera, like, well, not like, actually, mm -hmm. Jodie Foster, Hugh Jackman, Susanna Hoffs, director Ryan Johnson, and the cast of Glass Onion, and many, many more. Now you got me really excited. And now, now, finally? Yeah, it's finally. Okay. It took a little Good. bit. Right. And now there are many ways to give tonight. You will see the phone number, 818-876-1020 on the corner of your screen. And if you're all cool and tech savvy, there's also a QR code that you can scan to give directly. Like that, that phone you're holding right now, just grab it and, and use it. That's what you do. I, I still have a landline. I or you, you can text MPTF to 41444. During the evening, we're going to be checking our tote board to see how we're doing toward our goal of raising $750,000. Honestly, we need your help to get us there, so please call now. And there's a familiar face we need to introduce you to. Bless his ever-loving <laughs> Pete Pick and Hardy's pulling a longer shift tonight at KTLA to host our phone bank, the Chris Kringle <laughs> of Entertainment <laughs> News himself. I know because he paid me to say that. <laughs> Sam Rubin. How are things going at the phone bank, Santa? Uh, I mean, uh, Sam. There you go. Uh, I've added Tom. It's <laughs> nice uh, to uh, see the two of you, and it is nice to be joined by so many stars here. We want to thank Prime uh, Video, Amazon Studios, MGM United Artists for presenting the phone bank, and we want to welcome all our volunteers here to help spread the word, the good word about MPTF. Here we go. It's, it, it's like a, a parade. Our friend Jessica Roth is here. We know her from uh, MTV's Mary and Jane and so many other uh, fantastic projects. Uh, then, th uh, of course, well, wait, it's Rob Morrow. Hello, Rob. Golden Globe Emmy nominee for Northern Exposure. Who can forget Quiz Show? Oh, my gosh. Spencer Garrett, who we are enjoying right now. Spencer, uh, in winning time, is doing a fantastic job there and has been in every movie you've ever seen and every TV show you've ever seen. Isn't that true? Uh, and then a a Adrian Visnick is here as well, Creative Chaos, uh, MPTV's closed circuit TV station, uh, host of USC's uh, Scene Partners. Uh, they share films with original residents. Nice to have you here, Adrian. Thanks for being here. Uh, handsome is as handsome does. Clark Gregg, of course. <laughs> uh, actor, director, screenwriter, uh, the Marvel stuff forever, and a Snowpiercer, among other credits. It's like a resume list, isn't it? It is, Sam. Thank, uh, thank you. you. And then now, this is what's so nice. They are uh, getting their voices ready for their big singing number. Here we go. It's Annette O'Toole and uh, Michael McKean. Nice. You're on vocal rest. <laughs> vocal rest. Uh, both have you and Alex Aguilar, who is a business representative for IATSE and an advocate for MPTV because of the support he's uh, received. We're going to learn more about Alex uh, and his story tonight. So here's the thing with our friends here. They have their phones. And as you go to your phone watching at home, and as you call in with your contributions, as you text in with your contributions, as you scan our code with your contributions, we will take down your information and one of these fabulous stars may call you to say thanks. So your opportunity to have a conversation, uh, the number, well, mptf.com there, you can donate and visit. The number on your screen as well, it'll pop up in just a second or you can text to 41444. Uh, and then we have a tel telephone number too. <laughs> where it'll come up, I know it will, I'm looking forward to it. There it is, 818. 876-1020, 818-876-1020. Call that number now, make your contribution now, and you will likely hear from one of our famous faces here. In the meantime, YNB and Tom, across the way, we'll go back to you guys. In some very dark times these past few years, MPTF has been an eternal flame, spreading light and hope during some very trying times. Indeed, her, here to do her part by sharing a special version of an enduring classic she made famous with the bangles, the eternally talented Susanna Hoffs.
Oh, I love that song. Okay, throughout the night, Tom and I are going to check in on the running total here at the Magic MPTF Lights Camera Take Action Tote Board. With your help, we can smash our goal and help this 100-year-old organization carry on with all the incredible work they do. What kind of work? Well, social workers help people with resources like mental health and caregiving. They even give out small grants to qualified entertainment industry members who have fallen on hard times due to unforeseen circumstances. Let's see where our tote board is starting off, Tom! All right, I'm in the running total check position. <laughs> Let's see where we are on the giant take action tote board now. Oh, that's not bad. We already have $192,431 and we are just getting started. Still a lot of time to get your calls and donations in. Now, did you notice the names on the bottom of your screen? Those are people who've already made their donations. We thank you. Every dollar counts. Anything you can give to support is appreciated. We want to thank some generous anonymous supporters for providing $10,000 for you to match. Call now. And of course to KTLA for their support in making tonight happen. Otherwise we'd be doing this in a parking lot. The Barlanti Family Foundation and a special thanks to one of my former bosses, AFV's Vin DeBona. Glad those funny videos are still making money, Vin. Yvette? <laughs> For decades now, Jeff Bridges has been getting behind his camera to document the show business communities that come together on movie sets, and we're so thankful. Jeff's been donating the profits from his photographic work to MPTF. Now, recently, the Oscar-winning actor joined Phil Rosenthal and David Wilde on their podcast called Naked Lunch to discuss a new way to put the focus on taking action and giving to this great cause. Jeff is coming through to help a place that is really special to all of us. Uh, it is the Motion Picture Television Fund, and he is donating this amazing image. It couldn't be more perfect of Robin Williams. And they're taken with a, a wide lux camera that is a panning still camera format. Gorgeous. I'm gonna offer that photograph to be auctioned off uh, to benefit the Motion Picture and Television Fund, which uh, I published two books with their kind of compilations of all of, you know, a lot of these small books, my favorites, and all of those proceeds went to the Motion Picture and Television Fund, which, as you say, David, what a wonderful thing for our industry to do. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I love Jeff's photo of Robin mm. Williams so much. I'm going to be backstage bidding to win one of the three photos, but I would encourage you to outbid me and do your part to support MPTF. Go to biddingforgood.com backslash MPTF. And now let's all take the first of our field trips tonight to the wonderful MPTF campus with the very lovable <laughs> Phil Rosenthal and see if someone needs to feed Phil. Mm. In this segment, Phil gets a personal tour from the president and CEO of MPTF, my friend Bob Beecher. Bob, I'm so thrilled to meet you. I've been Great. a supporter of uh, MPTF for a long time, but this is my first time on campus. Amazing. How beautiful is this? I love this. Yeah. Yeah, so this clock here is a gift from local 728 yeah. lighting technicians. And then you've got these incredible topiaries here, the running of the bulls. <laughs> it seems like an idyllic place to live. That's nice for me. Can I make a... You can reserve. A reserve? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were thinking of something for you facing the parking lot, but if you want that one, yeah. When you say to live, yes. that's what we tell people when that's you right. come here. You are not coming here last address. Right. This is engagement, purpose, vitality. It's just a spectacular place to be. Well, if I play my cards right, there'll be a Phil Rosenthal snack bar. <laughs> There's a great Roddy McDowell uh, garden. That. How many people do you reach? Well, on the campus, there's yeah. about 250 people. Yeah. And then in the community, we're serving 3,000 plus a year. Great. Yeah. It's only going to grow. It's only going to grow. 90% of our work is done in the community. We're really proud to say that during the work stoppage during the pandemic 2020. Yeah. We served 7,000 industry members with financial charitable assistance and made over 30,000 calls 
nobody needed COVID to put an extra weight on everybody, That's but right. it did. Yeah. And where would this industry have been without us around during 2020? That's, that's, that's the. That's what we need to keep on reminding people when we talk about the future of MPTF. Respect, loyalty, common decency. That's right. In caring for those that came before us. We owe them everything. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm Clark Gregg, and I want to thank you for supporting MPTF. Lights, camera, take action. Hi there, I'm a huge supporter of the MPTF. I have been for many years. I think it's one of the greatest parts of the entertainment industry because it really represents community and the idea that we look after people when they're in need. Life throws so many unexpected curveballs for every single one of us. And some people are just left not knowing where the next paycheck is gonna come from or with an unexpected illness and no ability to be able to take care of themselves or for their loved ones. That's where the MPTF steps in. It looks after people who really, really need it. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to so many people, and I invite you to join me in helping them do this incredible work. Lights, camera, take action. Tonight, we're asking those of you who can to make a recurring donation to MPTF. So it's important for us to give you a glimpse into the lives of just a few of the people MPTF has been helping for over 100 years now. Indeed, MPTF is there to help in a million different ways. They give financial assistance and help people who need to find health insurance coverage. They have a retirement community and a children's center. There's really not enough time to tell all those stories tonight, but tonight we want to share just a few very real and human reasons to give. Tonight, we're going to introduce you to several members of the MPTF community whose stories embody what it means to say, I am MPTF. My husband was diagnosed with ALS in 2012. John had just turned 44 years old. Sometimes the difference between falling apart and getting by is the kindness and generosity of our community. We knew John needed professional care, but every nursing home we spoke to said no. He's too young and we can't handle ALS. The reason I found out about MPTF when I was a young actor I would talk to other actors and I would listen to them and they would tell me about the motion picture home. And then a friend told me about MPTF. I was like, what is MPTF? Well, you know, when bad times hit me, I was blessed to become a resident on the Woodland Hills campus. After a visit with an MPTF social worker, my mortgage and utilities were taken care of. When John died, he had lived with ALS for six and a half years. What kept him alive was the love of his family and his love of film and television. At MPTF, he worked as an editor for Channel 22, MPTF's in-house media studio. It's a community. It's our community. It happens. <laughs> Bubbles burst. Green lights turn red. Things fail. And when they do, you better hope MPTF is there to catch you. When people talk about MPTF taking care of its own, they have no idea what that could mean. It was Shangri-La for my wife because she didn't have to cook anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rebecca Huntley, animation producer, and I'm MPTF. I am Alex Aguilar, business manager for Local 724 International Labor's Union, and I am MPTF. <laughs> your calls at the Take Action phone bank. After he got assistance from MPTF over 15 years ago, he has been a vocal advocate. Thanks for being here, Alex. Mm -hmm. Lights, camera, take action. This is June Squibb, and I want to thank you for supporting MPTF. It's a wonderful organization, and I've had such personal experience there. I know what they do and how well they do it. So again, thank you for supporting us. Lights, camera, take action. I'm Richard Roundtree, and I want to thank you for supporting MPTF. Lights, camera, take action. MPTF is an organization that is a safety net for all people of the entertainment industry. Check them out online, and please play your part by supporting this great cause. Thank you so much. 
think what we have here in Hollywood is high art. Who wants to see me fight a snake? Yeah! Fun! In a place with no rules. It's written in the stars. I am the star. Three outsiders will do anything. I helped build this place. Don't worry about that. The car is not mine. Let's go! To get everything. There's so much more to be done. And I'm going to bed. Babylon, only in theaters December 23rd. Of course, thank you, Paramount, for your generous support, too. Every dollar helps the future of this vital organization. You know, this telethon is all about making a personal connection to the motion picture and television fund. My first connection, here's where I can't lie about my age anymore, goes uh, back 51 years when I was a 16-year-old Three Stooges fan growing up in Massachusetts. Armed with a cassette recorder and a casual disregard for my parents' long-distance phone bills, I tracked down Larry Fine of the Three Stooges who was convalescing at the MPTF campus. He was my first celebrity interview. And here's a little of what it sounded like. Good morning, friends. This morning, I have the unique pleasure of talking to one of the stars of the longest-running short-subject comedy series in film history, Larry Fine. Larry of the Three Stooges. Larry, thank you very much for taking this time to talk to us. My pleasure. And uh, you were writing about, I want to get this said right at the outset, because I know a lot of Three Stooges fans are dying to read a book about the Three Stooges written by one of you. You are in the process now of writing a book, is that correct? Well, I wrote one which I think they'll like very, very much. I know they will. I, I mean, there's so many Three Stooges fans waiting to get some uh, type of s statement in print from one of you, Mo Larry, about the, your career. And that's what I want to talk about a little bit now. Not so much your career with the Stooges at first, but your individual career. When did you get started in show business? Well, uh, I started in 1918 in a vaudeville act. <laughs> I was I was uh, 16, trying to sound like I was 40, and and during our first phone conversation, Larry actually gave me Mo's home oh. phone number without I, his permission. Yeah, and I called Mo's house. Mo's wife answered, put Mo on the phone. Mo sounded like he just walked off the soundstage. Said, "Who gave you this number?" I said, "Larry did." He went, "Larry." <laughs> If you, like me, are moved by the way MPTF supports all sort of everyday heroes on both sides of the camera, please call the phone number on the corner of your screen, the one that Sam was desperately looking for earlier. <laughs> that will take you to our fabulous phone bank. You can also use that QR code and scan to give directly. You can text MPTF to 41444. Now, speaking of Sam Rubin, <laughs> let's check back with him at the phone. You know what, uh, Tom and Yvette, I have the phone, actually, the number written down. It is oh, eight, I'm prepared, right? 818-876-1020. 818-876-1020. Call right now. Make your donation. Make your pledge. And then one of these fabulous stars may well call you back. I was eavesdropping earlier. Spencer Garrett had a very interesting phone call. Spencer, tell me what happened. Did I talk to Sandy Levin, uh, a wonderful, wonderful find home health care. That's just one of the um, many amazing stories, uh, that what these folks do. It's just an incredible organization. So um, thank you, Sandy. Thanks for your donation. What, what a beautiful thing. When we started talking, I heard a bit of an echo, and it reminded me of your work in Winning Time, which, of course, is the great HBO uh, show. It's the HBO series about the Lakers Showtime era. Yeah. See, I got it right. Yeah. Uh, I play Chick Hearn on Winning Time, uh, the great the great Laker broadcaster. And uh, yes, yeah, Sunday nights at 10 o'clock. We're it's in the middle of season two, so everybody check it out. Absolutely fantastic yeah. show. Yeah. Adrian Thanks, Vizek, it's nice to have you here. It's so nice to be you here. You have spent time at uh, the campus. Yes. And I, what's it like? It's a beautiful campus. It, honestly, if I could move in tomorrow, I would. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. They're constantly creating. Um, we're, we, I do a uh, broadcast show there and help host uh, events for USC filmmakers, and it's really a special place. Well, Great. Yeah. Well, we're so happy that you're here. I'm honored to be here. Again, your opportunity to talk with these two or all our stars, it's 818-876-1020. Rob Morrow, of course, uh, so many great movies, the great TV shows. Northern Exposure, perhaps they're rebooting everything else. We tried, we tried, we tried, but you never know. I mean, uh, it, you know, it's funny because 
I, I, I was doing something where I had to watch those shows, and I hadn't watched them in like 25 years. And it's amazing how well the originals hold up. There was something about that show that's kind of timeless. Like, I was really surprised. It didn't feel dated in thematically or visually. It, 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 it's so, it, it is interesting how some things are genuinely timeless. Yeah, I think if, when you're dealing with certain universal humanistic themes, they, they, are, they are eternal. It's great to have you here. It's great, just to have you here. What brought your involvement to MPTF? Oh my gosh, well, I was lucky enough to become involved with MPTF a couple years ago, um, and I got to tour the campus, and I was just so moved by everything I saw. And my grandfather at the time had dementia, and they have the most amazing dementia wing at the campus, and just the work that they do there and the support that they give to everyone. Like, I know the reason that I love acting and love performing is because of the community and the family, and MPTF just takes that a step further, which is remarkable. Oh, gosh, so wonderfully said, wonderfully said. Again, that phone number, it's 818-876-1020, 818-876-1020. Maybe you talk to Clark Gregg, who, when we saw that shot of Richard Roundtree, you said that you were at the campus shooting something with Richard Roundtree. Uh, yes, I was. I was just working on a, uh, a lovely film called Thelma with uh, June Squibb, who is pictured there. Uh, Fred Heckinger, who was in White Lotus season one, he's not in the trouble that some of those people are in right now. <laughs> and um, and Richard Roundtree, who I couldn't even manage to speak because I was such a big fan of the original Shaft. Um, are you as obsessed with the White Lotus as everyone else is, as I am? I can't stop watching it. It's disturbing. <laughs> I kind of want to be on that vacation, and then I really, really don't. Don't want to be on that vacation. Do, do you have spec? Of course, the uh, series finale is Sunday night. Do you have? Is that the finale? That's the finale. I don't know how many episodes of anything there are. Right, it's like the seventh episode. Yeah, it's very young. Do you, Do you know who you think might meet their maker? Well, I don't know how many bodies are at sea. I <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. We haven't started no, no, them. No, it's all right. You haven't revealed we too much. We give you spoilers here at right. the MPTF <laughs> telethon. Want to know the ending of your show? Just call in for the right donation. I'll tell you what's there, gonna happen. There. See, he knows exactly what's gonna like transpire. They just want to tell me what big Rob Morrow fans they are. <laughs> there it is, absolutely. Well, who, the Lakers beat the Celtics in, in 85. There it is, we, we, we know that. All right, they were on vocal rest, but they are getting ready to sing for us tonight. We're so happy that they are. Yeah. Um, that, did you practice before? <laughs> did you practice? That's a silly question. Okay, that's and that I mean. helps. Yeah. But is it okay, you guys are such a wonderful, happily married couple, thriving, thriving careers. Does singing together help? Why <laughs> do you find that amusing? I don't think so. No, it's, <laughs> I envy it. It's a laugh of it, but I envy that. There it is. All right. <laughs> but does, sing, does singing together help keep a, a twosome together? No idea. We do it anyway. Yeah, we, it's, yeah. it's just like what we, we do. We would do it even if it was bad for us. <laughs> <laughs> because it's really Sometimes fun to sing. Sometimes it is. Sometimes, Sometimes it is bad really for bad. us. Um, we shouldn't be doing yeah. it. Annette, I've got something you're going to enjoy hearing. How about this? Uh, your co-star from Virgin River, <gasps> Tim Matheson, yes. offering up to $1,000 in matching funds Whoa. right now. I thought I loved him before. Right. Now I really love him. That's fantastic. Tim, thank you so much. Tim, we, we were working together last month up in Vancouver on the show, and I said, hey, Tim, uh, MPTF is doing this this uh, telethon, and would you participate in some way? You know, do a, do, do something. And so I, this is the first I've heard about this. I'm thrilled and not surprised because he is generous and loving and wonderful, and and we're all getting up there. You know, we got to support <laughs> one another in this way. How many people uh, come up to you and ask you where Virgin River is that they anticipate and assume it is a real place? They do. Um, you, well, I have to tell them it's Canada because everything's Canada now. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's it is. It's beautiful. We just finished our. our fifth season so we're waiting to hear what what and Netflix is right down the street I didn't even realize it's across the way yeah and, and Michael said the the uh, the building looks like it's about to jump off a cliff or something well you it, have to say uh, metaphorically you're coming up there it's like everything else is here and the Netflix is thinking about going yeah. it, it, it's just a little bit drive down to sunset uh, and Alex uh, we referenced you earlier in the show we're really really glad you're here uh, a lifesaver for you MPTF yes well, you know, uh, back in 2007, uh, during the writer's strike, I was financially struggling. We were going through a rough time. My family, uh, my, you know, obviously my wife, um, expecting a third child. And life was rough. And someone said, hey, why don't you call MPTF? I was like, what's MPTF? You know, I made the call. I spoke to a social worker. They ended up paying my bills uh, for couple months two three months didn't have to pay a cent back who does that who does that and you know I represent the below the line workers so 
This is not just a fund that takes care of actors and above the line folks. This, I'm one of the construction workers who, you know, we work on the sets, we get it all ready for all these wonderful folks to come in and do their thing. And so for MPTF to do that for me, it was, it was amazing, it was great, and uh, a lifesaver. Wow. And that's why I'm here. I'll tell you what, we appreciate you being here. We appreciate all of you being here. Uh, again, if you want to participate, uh, the phone number is 818-876-1020. 818-876-1020. Who knows, maybe one of these great people will call you back to say thank you. In the meantime, shall we see how much money we raised? Yes. yes. All right, here's a chance to take a look at our tote board. Watch this. Oh my gosh, very nice. $211,060, wow. $211,060. It's all going so well. We go back to uh, Tom and Yvette uh, across the way. Thanks, Sam. A remarkable legacy of giving has made MPTF what it is from the time Mary Pickford first conceived of it right into this very night. In fact, let's hear now from two giving members of this community with quite a Hollywood legacy themselves. Here's a message from Tony Goldwyn and his daughter, Anna Muskie Goldwyn. Hi everybody, I'm Anna Muskie Goldwyn and I'm a member of MPTF's Next Gen Board. And today I thought that I would talk to my dad, Tony, a little bit about the Samuel Goldwyn Children's Center. Hi dad. Hi Anna, and hi everybody. I'm Tony Goldwyn, and uh, in addition to being Anna's dad, I'm a uh, member of the Board of Governors for the MPTF Foundation, so I'm thrilled to talk about the Samuel Goldwyn Children's Center. So can you just give a little bit of history of when the Children's Center was founded and why Grandpa founded it? Yeah, well, as you just said, uh, your grandpa, my dad, Samuel Goldwyn Jr., founded uh, the Samuel Goldwyn Children's Center along with uh, my stepmom, Peggy Goldwyn, in 1991, because they really saw uh, that there was a, 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 a huge need in our community for really high quality, innovative childcare. So they, they, they filled it. And how do you feel now that sort of legacy is carrying on and how the Children's Center helps families in the industry these days? Well, first of all, you know, we work crazy hours and uh, most childcare centers just don't, don't accommodate that. And the Samuel Goldwyn Children's Center is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, you know, it, it serves our specific needs. As I mentioned before, it's really innovative um, and uh, run by a great organization called Bright Horizons. Very emblematic of MPTF's mission of taking care of our own. Yeah, 100%. That's really what we're all about, isn't it? And in our business, there is no net. So uh, MPTF provides that. And the Samuel Golden Children's Center is just a, a, a shining example. Thanks for supporting MPTF. Lights, camera, take action for MPTF. <laughs> Hi, it's Parker Posey. Thank you for supporting MPTF. Hi, I'm El Key, a director, producer, and writer, and advocate for MPTF. And I'm Keegan Michael Key. El and I have been involved with the MPTF for many years. And we are so happy to be here with all of you today during this important telethon to raise money and awareness for an organization that has been around for over 100 years supporting the entertainment industry with a wealth of social and financial services. MPTF has been a reliable safety net for the industry and we are calling on all of you to help support this special organization. Working in entertainment has brought joy to our lives, and I'm sure all of you out there feel the same way. So please join us in supporting MPTF by making a contribution. Any amount helps. Thank you again all for watching and supporting tonight. And now, lights, lights camera, camera, take, take action. action. Thank you, Julie Butters, Parker Posey, and Ellen Keegan for being a part of Lights, Camera, Take Action. Your support means everything to us. Our volunteers, some you know and love and some you will know and love, are standing by for your calls and contributions to this great cause. Music is one of the greatest gifts to our world, and right now, it is my pleasure to introduce an international musical star who has come to play for the MPTF residents and is about to make his American television debut right here on Lights, Camera, Take Action, performing The Greatest Gift. Jonas Myron. Come lay your head upon my shoulder. Look 
Look outside, the stars are shining bright. And even though it's turned a little colder, we can light a fire, stay inside. Hear the angels sing, hear the Singing peace on earth, there'll be peace on earth if we open up our hearts and give a little love. The greatest gift is love. Gather friends and family round table. Remember those we love no longer here. And together take a moment and be grateful for the joy, for the tears. Hear the angels sing. Hear the it up for Jonas. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here with us live. Is supporting MPTF important? Yes, we're into the rhetorical question part of the show. You can bank on it. So right now, I am happy to welcome a representative of a very important supporter of this telethon and this great cause. Please welcome Linda Duncombe, Executive Vice President, Chief Marketing Product Digital Officer, for City National Bank. Oh, you get the whole entrance you and like everything, that? Linda. Welcome. Good to see you. So good to have you thank here you, with Thank you, thank yes. you. So thank you, Tom. Like City yeah, National Bank is proud to be a presenting sponsor of tonight's telethon. As City National, supporting our communities is in our DNA. We know where our bank is only as strong as the communities that we serve. Motion Picture Television Fund is an incredible organisation of amazing people who provide working and retired members of the entertainment community with a safety net of health and social services. We increased our support of MPTF tenfold this year and we're proud to cover the cost of a thousand weeks of groceries and two full-time social workers. I had the privilege of visiting MPTF's campus this year and was really inspired by what they do and the incredible people that they support. It gives me great pleasure tonight to help further the great work being done by MPTF by presenting a check for $100,000 from City National Bank. Bring it on out! We have the check. That's, hey. that's going to be some checkbook. I'm Woo. telling you, look at the size of this thing. Oh, my God. But let me just go off script and say, no we were it. talking out the back and we are just so inspired by what we were seeing and hearing my friend Jonas sing and having so many people here supporting MPTF. Let's just make that $125,000. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, Courtney, you hold the big check so well. 
And by the way, going off script on a live show is kind of what you do. You like yeah, it? I'm new at this, but thanks. Uh, yes, congratulations. <laughs> and thank you to our generous friends at City National Bank. We have a new total. Let's see how we're doing so far. We're going to see it? I'm over here. <laughs> what is it? Where is it? Oh, they're playing hard okay. to get. We... <laughs> Woo! Look we, at that. We, listen, we love to see our grand total get more grand because every dollar you give today just increases MPTF's ability to reach out and help more people. So we just got $311,060! Yeah. $60! I'm excited, guys. Thank you so much for giving. And Tom, I think I said part of what you were supposed to say, so I want to. I'm going to roll it back and let them tell you. No, you you can do and whatever. We're going back and let me finish telling everybody what I have to say. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it again because this is live television. Listen, we love to see our grand total get more grand because every dollar you give today just increases MPTF's ability to reach out and help more people. And speaking of helping people, here are some more uplifting stories of how MPTF is helping. One minute I was shaving in front of my mirror in, in, in my bathroom, and eight days later, I woke up in a hospital, a victim of a massive stroke. I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer a year ago. I could feel something was wrong. I was seven and a half months pregnant with my beautiful son, Leo. Even before I graduated high school, I started my career as a CNA, a certified nursing assistant at Motion Picture. After a year and a half, bouncing from a few hospitals and rehabs, my daughter Kimberly spoke to me about living at MPTF. The doctor said to me, we need to start chemo right away because this baby needs a mother. Over the next 22 years, I became a certified hospice and palliative care LVN and then completed a six-year RN program. I feel incredibly fortunate to have the opportunity to be in a union Polly Lock from my local recommended I speak to MPTF. In 2015, I became the nursing manager of the residential campus. And then in 2016, Bob Beecher offered me the role as director of residential services. I said to myself, well, uh, well how do you live there? There's a hospital, maybe, do I live in the hospital? I said, no, there's a big campus. I said, what campus? I said, behind the hospital, I, which of course I did not know about. I am now in room 451. It is my home. I'm on the campus. Taking care of our own to MPTF includes its staff. With Bob's encouragement, I have challenged my nursing staff to advance their nursing education. And remember one thing, I am Tony Ludwig and I am MPTF. I'm Myrna Gonzalez, makeup artist and proud member of Local 706. And I am MPTF. I'm Lorena Soria. 35-year employee, I'm MPTF. All right, I'm thrilled to be back with you, my friend. It's a pleasure this is, to be here. You are the OG. You are the original foodie. Especially lucky to be here with you, because you are now showing me how great the food is here. You love the food here. I do. The yeah. food is, they do a, quite a job for the amount of uh, meals per lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Uh, they do a hell of a job, yeah. So this is al bandiga soup? Uh, yes, it is. And this is my first taste of it. Wow. Have you had this before? Oh, yes. Wow. It's a regular on the menu. I'm doing the meatball. Here we go. The meatball is good. Phil, this is very good. Can I put in an order for the soup for delivery to my house? Look, I, I was saying I don't finish anything on the show. I'm finishing this bowl of soup. This is good. Hi, Kay. Hi. So nice to meet you. It's my pleasure. Who's this? This is Sammy Hi. Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. Weissman. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you call him Sammy Davis Jr.? He has one eye. Well, I, I brought my Murray here today. He's beautiful. To visit Sammy, yeah. And he, he loves the grounds already. This is a dog park for you guys. It is. For, yeah. So you can have your dog here and you, the dog can play? We Whoop. have everything, Isn't yeah. that great? It How is. long have you been here? 
Seven years. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, I, I, I reserved the cabin. Oh, you did? Yeah. Tell for people who don't know your favorite things about being here. We're treated by these people who treat us like we're family. Great. That's, I think that's highly unusual. Listen, I just had some lunch with Phil Gittleman, and I thought the soup that I had was fantastic. Fantastic soup. It was. I know. <laughs> I'm coming back. Come oh, any time. OK. <laughs> OK. I love meeting you, Kay. You're Thank delightful. You. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming here and being part of us. It's very <laughs> exciting for us. I may be part of you sooner than you think. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Yvette, the two of us, we've been working uh, with MPTF for a long time. Yes. I've been aware of a number of things that they provide mm -hmm. in terms of useful services. We're hoping to educate all of you to the wide range of reasons why you should support MPTF. But I never knew about how good the soup was. <laughs> you learn something new every day, Every Tom. day. Every day. <laughs> now I want some soup. Yeah, and you know, too. the Kay, the woman in the dog park with Phil, is part of a wonderful group called the Gray Quill Society. They are retirees who are now collaborating and holding each other accountable to write every week. Now I mention this because they have published three books with a fourth in the works. Last year, a small group of us read selections from their works. And it was me, some guy named John Hamm, <laughs> another guy named Matthew McConaughey. Then the brilliant and newest Hollywood Walk of Fame star, Billy Porter, read a story from Kay. To show you what I'm talking about, we have a clip of his intro. Billy Porter here, and I have a special, special thing to share with you. Um, it's a short story written by my friend Kay Weissman, who lives on the motion picture and television fun campus. So here we go. When I lived in Spain, my mother was my chaperone, so for sure there was no hanky-panky going on there. Back in Miami, I began teaching Spanish dancing. I was now in my 20s, very worldly in some ways, but still that little naive girl from Burbank. One day, while pining away, I thought I was having a heart attack. I went to see the ship's doctor. He didn't speak a lick of English and I didn't speak any Greek. But by the time we got to the Canary Islands, I found out what all the fuss was about. I was now ready for my next adventure. The story's just getting good, but that's all you get for now. If you want to see the stories, you can go to mptf.com to see them all. But please remember, MPTF is a much needed safety net for people. And that's why I want to share this little story with you. The crew on my new show, Act Your Age, understands that. And yesterday they donated $558 in support of this telethon. Now, how do they do it? You guys may not know this, but on many sets and stages across Hollywood, our crews dig deep for something we call $5 Fridays, where you give a little bit to make a big difference. And usually that pot goes to a crew member. But yesterday they decided that they wanted to give some of that to MPTF. And if you're on a set, you can do that too. So I wanted to thank my cast and crew of, of Act Your Age for being so generous. Now I want to tell my story about MPTF. When I first went to the Woodland Hills campus, I met a comedian. She had made her career as a comic actress and although she lived at MPTF, she was far from retired. Connie Sawyer was her name. Now I called her Rosie Cohen because she allowed me to do that. She and I struck up a friendship because she knew the path I was on and she was able to encourage me in ways few others could because my path was one she helped blaze. I show up for MPTF because even though Connie, my Rosie Cohen is gone, her wisdom lives on in me. So I'm here to say that there are so many on our path who need the support and community that Connie found at MPTF. Letting them down is not an option. So let's go back to Sam to see how we're doing. Oh gosh, Yvette, thank you so very much for that story. And if you want to do what Yvette's colleagues are doing, what so many of our friends and neighbors all around Southern California are doing, if you want to support MPTF, our phone lines are open and we encourage you to call in. The number I have out of my card and almost memorized at this point, it's 818-876-1020, 818-876-1020. You can also text MPTF to 41 four 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 uh we have our phone bank here uh so many of the stars are calling people to say uh thanks to that end clark Reg, you just had an interesting phone call i did sam <laughs> i did i spoke to the lovely kate johnson whose husband dean was one of the producers on Ilya kazan's streetcar named desire oh my gosh and uh, her family has a long history with mptf and she gave a very generous donation and 
I feel lucky to have talked to her. That's so, that is terrific. Well, again, your opportunity, call, make a donation, and you may well hear from somebody on our panel here. I'm gonna interrupt Rob Morrow. I see, is he either in mid phone call or just concluded one? Okay. <laughs> um, yes, so I just spoke to a very cool man named Rick Baptiste, who was on Dancing with the Stars for 17 years as the trumpet player, and he said he wanted a shout out to Tom. Um, he gave $100 and he was telling me about how great it was to be on that show. And he, he actually had played with Johnny Mathis. Oh, wow. Um, uh, and uh, so he was just a sweet guy and just donated 100 bucks. So that, um, That's fantastic. Spencer, when people reference this community feeling, you've been on enough sets to answer this question as well as anybody. It, it, it's, it's a big town and it's a small town. It's a, it, absolutely. I mean, it's, it is a, a community of actors and artists. And, uh, you know, I've been out to the campus several times and I'm always kind of, uh, it's so heartwarming to see the way they take care of people in our business. And I love, I love what Alex said earlier about, you know, it's not just the, it's not just the above the line people. It's everybody. It's everybody in our industry. And, uh, and they just do an extraordinary an extraordinary thing for everybody in the industry. So it's a it's a small, in a lot of ways, it's a small town. You know, very and, much so. Um, and Adrian Vizdik, it's a small town and a multi generational town. And you've had the experience of being certainly a younger person yeah. going there. I, I, I imagine when you're on that campus, you learn a lot there. You learn so much. It's amazing the type of legends that are part of this community, and you get to hear their stories. And they're you're so grateful to be have somebody that's nearby and be able to talk to them. It's really really special. Uh, tell me about yeah. the phone call you had. Um, the phone call I had. Um, his name's David. He gave $200, which was a very kind and generous donation. Um, he works in entertainment, and this was his first time hearing about Motion Picture Television Fund and everything that they have to offer. So if we're, we're uh, expanding our community right here, right now, it's just awesome. That, yeah. is, that is terrific. You yeah. know what, uh, Jessica, you're going to get to do it this time because I've done it so often and so well. Go ahead. Pitch the number, as they say. That's the TV talk. And the number that you can call is 818-876-1020. Again, that's 818-876-1020. Or you can text. Oh, or text MPTF <laughs> to 41444. That's 41444. Very good. And again, what we're doing here tonight, which is kind of fun, is uh, our luminaries, uh, we're, we're, we have a phone bank taking in your phone calls, and then they may well have an opportunity uh, to call, thank you, and uh, in, engage with you as we all learn more about uh, MPTF. We have a new uh, person on our panel here, uh, representing, again, the, the quote-unquote below the line, Mike Miller is the vice president of IATSE. Um, sir, nice to have you here. Sam, it's great to be here. Uh, couldn't be happier. I mean, the, the IA and its local unions, we've been supporting the MPTF for decades. I want to take a particular opportunity this evening to shout out IA's locals 44 and 729 who are sponsoring, uh, helping to sponsor the telethon tonight, as well as longtime IA member Ron Dahlquist, who made a very generous contribution to the fund, and also local 728, which is also part of it. Uh, our members have been incredibly generous, and I expect that we will dig deep this evening to help the MPTF in its time of need. It's for more than 100 years, it's been there for our industry, and we need the industry to be there for the fun tonight. And so I'm excited to be here. I think it's fantastic. Uh, the IA represents the best crews in entertainment in the world, and the MPTF is there to help them when, uh, as Alex said earlier, when sometimes the light turns red. Exactly right. That was very well said by Alex. Mike, thanks for being here. Thanks, Sam. You guys, when the IATSE guy speaks, it's with a sense of command, isn't it? Did you notice that? Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're here before everybody, and they leave after everybody, so they're up to something. <laughs> That's all I mean. But uh, we support IA, of course, because they support us, and uh, that's what makes us a family. You had some interesting phone calls tonight. We did. Well, I, I actually didn't get through to my, to okay. my person. Um, Chris uh, donated, Yvette was talking about Connie Sawyer. Uh, Chris loves um, Connie Sawyer and she donated some money and I called her number and it, I don't think she recognized my number. She wouldn't pick up. Oh, well, that happens too. But I thanked her <laughs> and, and I mentioned that Con I did, we didn't know Connie. We, we've been over to the campus as well because we have a, a lovely friend who lives over there, but uh, we didn't know Connie. So, um, but she's a beautiful woman and I want to know more about it. That's the other thing. I want to go research. Go to the IMDb and look at it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. We also need to make sure we call out the crew that's working here tonight. The IA represented technicians yeah. of KTLA. I want to thank all of them for their work tonight, too. Well, and the great work they do with us every single day. The no best question. in the business. Absolutely. No question about that. Thanks, guys. I tell you, and then I'm scared of him, and yet I admire him. 
who? Our, uh, no. Uh, oh, no, don't be scared. Okay. No, they take care of us. <laughs> such good care of us. No, they really, really, no, really we, do. How, what would we be without them? I mean, we wouldn't be. No question about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh, you're going to finish? Yes? <laughs> no, we're going to talk to Jason George. You know what? The Illuminary, to join us on our panel, Jason George, of course, you know from Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy and such great work. Jason couldn't be with us. We're going to press a button. Instantaneously, he's going to pop up on Zoom. There he is. Jason, I think you're up to something cool. What's up? Hey, Jason, how are you? How are you feeling, Sam? Really good. I'm good. I see Clark sitting right there next to you. Yeah, I was, uh, I was, uh, don't be mad, Clark. I know you, I know you're mad that I'm not there. I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to be there, but, uh, some family issues came up last minute and I couldn't make it. But, uh, instead, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna throw a challenge out to folks to call in. Uh, I'll match the next, uh, I'll, I'll match the next $2,000 to come oh. in. Kids, Jason George just says he will match the next $2,000 that comes in. So, very good, Jason. That's very generous. Thank you for that. That's terrific. Uh, you, you, you've been an active, active member of the Screen Actors Guild and After I Know for a very long time. Why does MPTF matter so much to you? Well, look, I do a lot of work with, like you said, with sag AFTRA, and I'm on the sag AFTRA Foundation board, but that's actor-specific. And that's my heart, and that's where I live, but... Um, the town is much bigger than that. And so for me, it's about uh, making sure that we, you know, we, we take care of everybody. Like, I'm so happy to see that, you know, my seat is taken by, you know, IATSE right now. So it's about making sure that we take care of everybody. Just, you know, it's a mining town. And, you know, the, the mine is, you know, we, we instead of pumping out coal, we pump out uh, entertainment. Uh, so. no, no question about that. And I tell you what, our show so big like yours with, with so many of these tremendous action scenes, big, big scenes, that involves a lot of people who are not in front of the camera, does it not? Well, we've got to, you know, look, there's, uh, I think our, reg our series regulars are about 10 of us. Our writer's room is something around another 10, 12 people. But we've got 200 some people on the payroll. Wow. Um, so there's a lot of folks who are not faces that get recognized on the street and the pats on the back that I get. And uh, I, so, you know, when people say that they're fans of the show, I try and thank them on behalf of everybody who works in the show. Um, and I feel like MPTF, and this, for me, this, look, I'll just say the word that for me, when I think of MPTF, I think of the word community. Uh, because, you know, when I first told my mother I was gonna become an actor, her greatest fear was I'm going off and I'm just gonna like, you know, fall into the hole that is Los Angeles, that is Hollywood and be on my own. And I feel like MPTF is one of the biggest forces that's actually shrinking the town to make it a manageable size for all of us who work in it. Uh, at every stage, they're there to back you up. But we all, even though we always think of the senior years. Uh, so that for me is what I love MPTF. And that's why, you know, I do a lot of work now with, uh, I've joined the MPTF Next Gen board, you know, uh, committee, which is uh, trying to generate the next generation of, uh, make sure that younger folks are aware of what MPTF is all about, know that it's there for them, know that it's backing them up, and also help use it to build community in our industry for folks that are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and, and whatever, whatever you know, I, I am, whatever age I'm around. Sure. I'm somewhere in there. There we go. Jason, you know what? Thank you. And we want to remind people of what Jason just said. He will match dollar for dollar the next $2,000 in donations that come in. So uh, you could double your money if you call us right now at 818-876-1020. Friends, would you like to see another tote? Yes, yeah. please, please. We'll press a button and do that. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. $361,060. We're making our way up there. $361,060. That's terrific. Coming up here, more great music, wonderful stories from our friends Tom Bergeron and Yvette Nicole Brown as our telethon continues. You're watching Lights, Camera, Take Action, live from Hollywood. A telethon benefiting the Motion Picture and Television Fund to support current and retired workers behind the scenes of the entertainment industry. Hollywood heavyweights still to come. Jeff Bridges, Bill Rosenthal, and Marvel master Kevin Feige with special performances moments away by David Foster, Catherine McVie, and Brad Paisley. Plus, Annette O'Toole and Michael McKeon take the stage live to perform. KTLA Sam Rubin is standing by with the stars in our Take Action phone bank. I'm Ellen Kay. Now, once again, here are your hosts, Tom Bergeron and Yvette Nicole Brown. 
<laughs> there is so much more to do and say. Can we get it all done in an hour? Mm -hmm. we yeah, we can. We have more from Phil Rosenthal and Jeff Bridges, music from Brad Paisley, and appearances by more stars, including Brian Cranston. I just want to go off do prompter it. from do it. Uh, I, Rick Batiste. It was so great to hear that he's watching and contributing mm -hmm. because when he was part of the Harold Wheeler Orchestra mm. in many of the years I hosted the dancing show, mm -hmm. I always felt so lucky to be able to get all of that music boom right in my yeah, back. Some just, good music. And, and I used to throw mid-season parties and they can party. No doubt. Yeah. No of doubt. course, uh, speaking of great performances, we have a very special performance from Annette O'Toole and Michael McKeon. And did you know mm -hmm. that there's a special birthday happening at MTF of tomorrow? Of course I did. It's my buddy and the creator of the NAACP Image Awards, Tony Vaz, is turning 100 years old. Happy birthday, Tony! Happy birthday. Maybe uh, you watching would like to pick up the phone, donate $100 in honor of Tony, or you can make a small recurring donation to keep Tony's celebration going all year long. Yeah, that's the kind of gift that just keeps on giving. Now the phone lines are open or you can text MPTF to 41444 to give. Are you ready for our next musical performance? Well, I hope so because we have a treat for you. We have a 16 time Grammy winner and Golden Globe winner, David Foster and the sensational recording and Broadway star, Catherine McPhee, here to bring us some more holiday cheer. Performing my grown up Christmas list from their new seasonal smash Christmas songs, David Foster and Catherine McPhee. Hi everyone, I'm David Foster. And I'm Catherine McPhee. The MPTF motto is lights, camera, action. And that's exactly what we're here to do. We are making the MPTF a priority on our grown up Christmas list. Here it is. Do you remember? Set upon your knee, I wrote to you with childhood fantasies. Now I'm all grown up now, but still need help somehow. I'm not a child, but my heart still can dream. So here's my My grown up Christmas list, not for myself, but for a world in need. No more lives torn apart, that wars would never start, and time would heal all. Christmas 
This is a good way to get around. Yeah, well, it's a lot, it's a lot easier around, you know, for me anyway, but yeah. uh, the campus is, you know, fairly large. Yeah, it is. So it's it's uh, 22 acres? Yes, at least. Yeah. Is this your first time here? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been a longtime supporter, but I never visited the campus. And it really does feel like a campus instead of a, some kind of retirement community. It feels like a, like a place you'd want to come to no matter what your age is. They take good, good care of you here, and especially during the pandemic. Um, I was glad to be here. You wrote three novels during COVID. Yes, I wrote three novels. Incredible. But I had nothing else to do. But they were here for you. Oh, absolutely. They, I gotta tell you, the staff, the, from Bob Beecher on down, they were just wonderful people. They took care of us. They, they, they washed over us. I mean, it was, I don't know what I would have done. I had not been here. <laughs> I'm getting up there. I, uh, you're a young man, Phil. Well, 20, <laughs> I think in 20 years, I'll, I'll, I'll be your roommate. Good talking to you, Phil. I love talking to you. See you next time. Yeah. I gotta get to writing. Oh, all right, good luck. Talk to you later. Bye. He's gone. Lights, camera, take action would not be taking place without the generosity of one of our presenting sponsors, UCLA Health, who has a long and deep connection with MPTF. And so right now, I feel very happy to be standing with, soon, UCLA women's soccer coach, Marguerite Awazasa, who is fresh off our NCAA championship win, making her the first coach in NCAA women's soccer history to win a national championship in their first year as a head coach. Congratulations on your amazing, yes! on set. <laughs> your amazing come from behind victory. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to be here to represent UCLA and UCLA Health. Mm -hmm. Both UCLA Health and UCLA Athletics strive for excellence, and I know that's something near and dear to the mission of MPTF. We're proud to be partners with an organization that aligns so deeply with our values, and honestly, it's really about teamwork. Mm -hmm. Having a strong team and such a special support network got us the championship. Mm -hmm. And on behalf of UCLA Health, we want to honor the incredible team at MPTF of healthcare workers, social workers, and volunteers who so generously give their time to, for people in need. Mm. Now, I know in the championship match, you were down two to zero at one point and came back in overtime to win. So how do you inspire your team to carry on during those challenging moments? Oh my gosh, I can't stress enough just the belief they have, mm. the care for each other, the love for each other, and the resilience they showed. They inspire me greatly, just like the mission of MPTF inspires the partnership with UCLA Health. And so I'm very proud to be here announcing that UCLA Health is honored to support tonight's telethon by donating $100,000 oh to MPTF. Oh my goodness, that is incredible! <laughs> Thank you and congratulations again on your national win. Oh, how exciting to have you here with us. And uh, oh God, I just, Tom, tell us what's next. What do we get? Just add it up, Tom, add it up. Well, I, I just think that what you just said though, before we go to the tote board, it just underscores the power of teamwork, of caring and of all being together for a common cause. Now, UCLA Health, and, and it's been so much a part of that. We're gonna check the big board now and see how much action we're getting here. Ready? Look at that, isn't that pretty? $461,174. Big dollars, small dollars, all the dollars add up. We want to thank Greg Sills, a longtime supporter of MPTF. Your generous donation of $1,000 will go far. Peter Cohn just called in with $500. Suzanne Hackett, the infectious disease control manager at MPTF, she's the person who kept the residential community safe during the pandemic. Suzanne who is already so generous, just called in with a $100 gift. That's a lot of PPE. Thank you if you've already donated tonight. And if you haven't, you can still help us reach our goal tonight of $750,000. By the way, thank you to all those amazing volunteers at MPTF who are making tonight, as you just saw, successful. Yvette? Yes. 
Tom and I have been showing up for MPTF for years now. When the pandemic started, our friend and one of the producers of tonight's show, Jen Clymer, developed a way for the residents on the Wasserman campus to stay creative and connected while they had to be socially distanced. It is a live interactive show on their closed circuit TV station. They have interview shows, workouts, and game shows, and you know, I love a game show, and so does Tom, so take a look. You can get this, Tom, you got this. Okay. We all have um, it, I do. Wine. Wine. Oh, so good. Not, not what we are looking for. Creeper. 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 So your, your clues are grape and creeper. <laughs> JT is feeling confident. Tom feeling confident. Yvette is thinking it through. I don't know. You guys are going to hate me because I don't know. I'm going to say the creeper. Grape, grape and creeper. Oh, God, you guys. Oh, give it to Tom. I was going to say vine. Go on, Tom. Take it. That's it. That's, that's, it? that's it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Oh. Can I say I'm hating this so far? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can't say <laughs> <laughs> You guys are going to hate me because I just don't I know. I didn't really know it. I yeah, didn't know what it whatever. was. Okay. Well, when Margot there went blue, I had to join her <laughs> kind of like when you were popping with answers. There are so many creative ways that people have been helping MPTF. You can volunteer in many different ways. Now, one of the things I've been doing is hosting a monthly virtual performance by the Hollywood Radio Players. This talented group of actors have been recreating classic radio shows to benefit MPTF. You can find all of the shows online and find that way to help MPTF at HollywoodRadioPlayers.com. Now, you may know that I am on the MPTF Next Gen board, which is for the younger. I'm younger. I'll be over here. Yeah, I'm younger. <laughs> MPTF <laughs> advocates from all over the entertainment industry. Allison Smart, one of our newer board members, helped to organize a delicious fundraiser for MPTF. Let's take a look. I am too younger. I know you are. <laughs> Hi there. We're at the Editors Guild parking lot, and along with the IA Hollywood young workers from various locals, we've joined forces to do a bake sale fundraiser for the Motion Picture Television Fund. It's a wonderful, sweet event that I'm really proud of. We're here to support, as Sharon said, the MPTF organization, the Motion Picture Television Fund. We're celebrating 100 years this year. They support people who work in the entertainment industry. They have so many amazing services. We are so happy to be here today supporting them, just like they supported us. A bunch of the locals from Hollywood got together to sell homemade baked goods and raise money for a fantastic cause. Motion Picture Television Fund is near and dear to my heart personally. We have some representatives here from the Motion Picture Next Generation Board, which is a collection of people who are coming up in the entertainment industry and want to start their philanthropic journey supporting MPTF. You can do that financially or you can volunteer with us. Jeff, uh, I want to ask you to connect all these things. We started talking about MPTF quite a bit. Why do we need a place like this? Well, it's a great example of how we take care of each other. You know, I don't know if any other industry really does it. I do you, you know, I think it, this may be the only industry that really provides for all of the people in it who are motion picture and television fund does. It's a giant magic trick. One yep. movie is a one-time magic trick, and it takes so many people to pull it off. One of the main reasons why we're doing this telethon, because they're in kind of dire straits now financially, because they not only supply uh, living areas for people, you know, to come homes for people to live, but they've also given uh, financial support to all these people during the pandemic. Yeah, COVID hit them hard. So bad, and of course, COVID then it hit the motion picture and television fund hard. So we're doing everything we can. Everybody who loves movies can show some of that love by supporting uh, the motion picture and television fund. Thank See you. you later, alligators. <laughs> <laughs>
I love hearing Jeff talk from the heart I about know. this. You know, the dude abides, and you can still a bid. I'm sorry. No, to auction don't one don't of, apologize uh, for that. A little, that little was bit of a dad nice. joke. Uh, you can a bid on uh, <laughs> one of Jeff Bridges' amazing photographs. He's once again donating to this great cause. That's at biddingforgood.com slash MPTF. Make sure to check it out. Don't let the dude down. No. Now, Edgar Pablos uh, did what the dude said and called in with a $100 donation. And thank you, Monica Levinson, for your $200 gift. Elizabeth Lucas gave $1,000 in honor of Peter Sardelich. Stephen Marshawn donated with a message of we take care of our own. Thank you, Hanif Bhatti, for your $50. And Ruth Ann Thompson, she turned to MPTF after a traumatic event in her life. MPTF was there for Ruth Ann. And now Ruth Ann is here for MPTF with her $200 gift. Thank you, everyone, for your calls and donations. Now go, let's go see uh, Sam Ruman and see how things are adding up. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, things are, things are really, really adding up. Uh, Tom and Yvette, it is great. Uh, th this is all just going so wonderfully well. We appreciate people tuning in. We appreciate your uh, extraordinary comp uh, contributions, and we want to encourage you to keep doing that. To that end, the phone number, it's 818-876-1020, 818 818-876-1020. Eight seven six one zero two zero. What's the Call, text? What's the text? Yeah, what's Clark? Greg, you read the text. I don't know the text. You can. Oh, the text. The text. Text MPTF to four one four four four. That now what you do in telephone and you repeat it. Can we say it again? They do it again. <laughs> I'm learning from Sam yeah. Rubin. <laughs> it's kind of exciting. I should have won this yeah. at an auction. Right. Okay, MPTF to four one four four four. Very good. And then what happens? You donate now to that number. Sam will double anything that comes in. <laughs> There we go. That's the least I can do. Go, Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, but you know, here's the thing. Not only uh, are we really excited about uh, your contributions, these people here are excited to talk to you. So we're taking your information as you uh, make your donations. We're passing along the messages to our phone bank here, and you're hearing from uh, these fabulous people. While that is going on, conversation here with the first couple of television, movies, sports, and what else? Uh, Michael McKean and Annette O'Toole. No, I just said that. But he okay, here's a story. A film about Harold and Lillian Michelson, no. show, oh, yes, yes, showbiz yes. veterans who lived at MPTVF, yeah. and as a result, what, that film inspired the two of you. It did, yes. We, uh, we uh, what do you call that? We, we, we consigned uh, uh, a, uh, a musical to be written. We thought it was such an amazing story. So our friends Dan Collins and uh, Julianne, Julianne Wick Davis, uh, who are respectively book and lyrics and music, a brilliant, uh, brilliant pair of uh, musicians, and they've created this show, and it's called um, Harold and, and Lillian, a Hollywood love story. And the, the, Lillian is a genuinely unique character. She was the greatest, she is the greatest researcher. She was the one you called when you wanted to know what kind of underwear they had in, in ancient Egypt. She was the one, she knew everything. She had this huge library of books. Uh, anyway, their story, their story inspired us. And yeah, it's uh, we're, we're working on that. We're workshopping it in New York. Uh, Next month. And, and Lillian lives at the Wasserman campus. That's right. And we've gone there to visit her and have lunch with her. And she's Hello, <laughs> Well, uh, Lillian is uh, not the only one who's having an extraordinary experience at that Wasserman campus. And your opportunity to support the campus and all the good works of the Motion Picture and Television Fund. Over here, things are going on. What is happening? Spencer's got something to tell us. Blanca Grualva, where are you? I've been calling you. Um, Blanca Grualva, a generous donation of $100. She said she watches KTAL all the time. She feels like she's a beneficiary of the whole TV and film industry because she grew up on the Dick Van Dyke show and all the shows at that time. Uh, she said she always thinks about the people behind the scenes. Thank you for that, and she wants to thank them. So thank you, Blanca. Wherever you are, I left you a message. Uh, 17 messages I left you. <laughs> Um, hopefully you'll call me back later, um, but thank you. 100 bucks from Blanca. Um, we love you. Thank you. God bless. Oh, that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I know if it's, is it polite to interrupt Rob Morrow? Can I do it? Yeah. For just one second. Go. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes, go ahead. He's just right, talking I'm to calling you back. Yeah. <laughs> Did you book another a gig while yes, we're... I got to go. <laughs> Offer only, Rob. Offer oh. Wait, you tell me, Rob, you, you're, are you now at the offer only stage? Uh, you know, sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, and the, I, Henry Winkler. Well, it's funny. Most of the jobs I do are that. The ones that aren't, I don't get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Well, a little insight into uh, what's going on with Rob there. Um, are you willing to audition, or do they have to make you, uh, Jessica, a straight uh, offer? Oh. 
Sometimes the most amazing projects are the audition ones, and then you also get to know the director. Oh. So it's a give and a take. You're auditioning them, they're auditioning you. Everybody's auditioning everybody. Well, there we go. See, we're learning so that we're learning about this crazy acting profession uh, while we're uh, going through this. Who is Clark talking to? Well, I'm, I'm trying to reach Michelle Lee. She, Michelle, as you may know, Tim, yeah. is a dog groomer. And she grooms KM's, who's a resident at the MPTF home, her dog, Sammy Davis Jr., and four other dogs. Uh, a dog, Marty Feldman, is one of the other dogs. Oh, wow. There's Rob Morrow, is one of the dogs. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Um, guys, guys, you know what? Ronald the, Reagan is the fourth. The, 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 beauty of, the beauty of live television, we have arguably the most famous actress working right now. It's really extraordinary. Aubrey Plaza, Emily the Criminal, and of course, Harper on White Lotus. Aubrey, how are you? Uh, we'll try it again. Aubrey, she, she may well be in Italy. She may be in the water for all we know. Aubrey, are you with us? Oh, nuts, they're just trying to patch that through. Well, you know what, we'll, <laughs> here, we'll put you on the spot. If you were Aubrey, what would you say about how things are going? Um, it's going very well amazing. It's going fantastic. Yeah. Um, Do you know what happens at the end of White Lotus? Well, if I told you, then I'd have to kill you. Right, okay. I think it's anybody that gets Aubrey on the phone. It's Agent Coulson. It's Agent Coulson. Summon her up. Um, she, she just texted me. <laughs> Did you really? Yes, I think she might have heard the White Lotus riff. She was a little upset about the spoiler thing. All right. Um, she did tell me what happens at the end. You're oh, no. You're not going to believe it, Sam. You're mentioned a lot in the finale of White Lotus. Oh, really? I'm excited. Well, I've been, you had been at that hotel I've been, around three or four people. Well, no, that was inadvertent. Uh, nonetheless, if you want to participate with us, we'd love to hear from you. It's 818-876-1020. 818-876-1020. Eight seven six one zero two two zero or Jessica, how do they text us? You can text MPTF to four one four four four. Again, that is MPTF. Very good. See four one four four four. I was listening. Yeah. I take direction. You know, the whole thing has become a tutorial to a large degree. Yeah. Shall we look at the tote board? Yeah. Why don't we? Board. Let's look at the tote board. We split the screen here, and what happens? Oh my gosh! Oh. Wow. Over half a million dollars, $501,392. That is extraordinary. Wow, let's keep it going. Call that number, 818-876-1020. 818-876-1020. It's at the top of your screen right now, plus MPTF. And you could also uh, scan uh, the thing that will pop up on the screen in just a little bit. All right, we have Tom Bergeron across the way. We're going to say hi to Tom. You notice, if you've been watching uh, since uh, the beginning, Sam's asking increasingly personal questions. <laughs> yes, <it's true. laughs> if this was a three-hour telethon, he'd be going for their ATM pin code. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> we have uh, big news today at the Motion Picture and Television Fund. We are proud to be the first to announce we're getting a new neighbor. A full-service life plan retirement community is going to be built on the site next door to our current campus. And this project is so new, somebody yell, how new is it? How new is it, Thank Tom? you so much, Yvette. It doesn't even have a name yet, but it's going to be a gem. Over half the property is reserved as green space and set against the Santa Monica Mountains. Most residences will offer both lake and mountain views. On top of that, there's a special offer available only to those in the entertainment industry. If you become a priority member of this exciting new retirement community, you'll enjoy exclusive perks and incentives. Intrigue. <laughs> Scan the QR code on the screen to learn more or call 747-226. 5550. Yvette, how are we doing so far on the big board? Well, you know, let's take a little look. I'm ready. Hey! Wow! 581,411. How much further can we go? Our goal tonight is to raise $750,000, and with your help, we can do it. Thank you, Carly Roman, for your $100 gift. Michelle Lee, $200. Sarah Freeland with $50. And Brenda and Ken Fritz gave $100 in memory of Robert Saki. Thanks to all of you, and thanks to the companies that have been supporting MPTF for years. Thank you to The Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, and Variety for their media support, and Anthem, Ari, Delta Airlines, L'Oreal, and Delta Dento. And of course, the studios like Prime Video, Amazon Studios, MGM, United Artists Releasing, Warner Brothers Discovery, and the Walt Disney Company, which I love. Tom? Yes? 
<laughs> I'm here. We're so happy that with KTLA, we're reaching so many of you here in Southern California. But we also know many of you are watching all around the country on mptf.com or ktla.com. And we need your help, too. Speaking of country, he says with a host-like segue, we are so happy to bring you this performance from a country music superstar. He's here to sing a song about pulling together for the frontline staff at MPTF, a guy overflowing with talent, Brad Paisley. To the farmers and the first responders, to the truck drivers shifting gears, every nurse that needs a break, let me buy you a drink, there ain't no wine beer. Tonight, whatever you're going through, grab a long neck bottle or a big old pint, and let's all have a few. Cause we're on this together. To me, it's all so clear. Drinking ought to be a team effort. There is no I in beer. Got a buddy who's heartbroke. See if you can get him on the phone. You tell him life ain't fair. We all been there, and no one should drink alone. Cause we're on this together. It's why God put us here. Drinking ought to be a team effort. There is no I in beer, and there ain't no you right in beer. That's right. But there's about to be a lot of beer in you and I. This was going to be our season. We were the team to beat. Oh, but not anymore. We're looking at the score in shock and disbelief. Cause we're all in this together. And there's always next year. Like in all this team effort, there is no I in beer. To the farmers and the first responders, to the truck drivers shifting gears. Every nurse that needs a break, let me buy you a drink. There ain't no I in beer. My mother always loved movies. She truly loved movies, so I wanted to write them. As soon as I began, I started hearing about MPTF, a place that was universally revered and loved. I had been looking for a place to volunteer and get involved with, an organization that really had values and interests that aligned with mine, and listening to a vet and other next-gen leaders talk about their commitment to serve, it seemed like a really good fit for me. It was the heart of the Hollywood that my mother so loved. And that moved me. So I dove in and looked for ways to help. My ex-husband, Eric, a Marine Iraq war veteran and the father of my child, Matthew, came back from deployment with the emotional scars of combat. I had to divorce him to protect myself and Matthew when Matthew was just a baby, but he and Matthew were rebuilding their relationship when Eric died by suicide right before Christmas of 2018. After I got involved, I needed to actually turn to MPTF for help with a family issue four years ago when my father was diagnosed with cancer. And then I found MPTF, it's Veterans Benefits Assistance Program. I called MPTF and they connected me with a social worker who gave me different options for my dad. Three years ago, uh, my mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. MPTF came to her rescue. She's in Pickford House now. I thank God for that every single day. In the end, we got the survivor benefits my son Matthew was entitled to. And I'm proud of him for growing up to be such a wonderful young man with a bright future. We were able to get the answers that we needed, and more important, we got those answers from an organization that I trust. And that, believe it or not, is a happy ending. I'm Ashley Tave, stunt woman, and I'm NPTF. My name is Billy Ray, and I am NPTF. I adore my friend Monica, and I am proud to have gotten her involved with NPTF before she even knew that it was an organization that could help her now. And Ashley is one of many people who have gotten aid through NPTF's Veterans Benefits Assistance Programs. Over the lifetime of this service, they have helped people get over 1.5 million in back benefits. 
for many people, that added money makes the difference to be able to stay in their home or make their car payment or keep the power on. Susan and Gary Martin have been generous supporters of MPTF, including the Veterans Benefits Assistance Program and of tonight's telethon. Over 30,000 meals distributed during the pandemic, over 10,000 care calls, and 64,000 COVID tests. Roughly 4,000 vaccines were administered to keep people safe and healthy. These times call for heroic efforts, and that's what the people at MPTF are serving up on a daily basis. Here to tell us more about that is the world's authority. I have the great privilege heroes, the today of, of uh, leading an interview with two real life heroes of the MPTF. Tell me about an average day in your life as a licensed clinical superhero, acknowledging the fact that probably nothing about the last week has been average in your life with the, uh, the recent Academy Awards uh, triumph for the MPTF. Absolutely, for sure. I mean, I think a, a typical day or an average day, there, there, uh, maybe fortunately is not one. Every day is completely different. I come in with an agenda of what I hope that day is going to look like, and I realize my job is really to put out fires and uh, to help to support my staff, working directly with clients. But really, everything I do is based on the mission of the organization and is the work that myself and my team is conducting and performing, living up to that mission. Spoken like a true hero. Linda, you're the director of Palliative Geriatric and Testing Services. That's a superhero I've not yet met before. What's an average day like for you and how long have you been with the MPTF? I've been with MPTF for 20 years now. Um, and the average day, it's, it's wearing several different hats. Those, those, each one of those, uh, palliative care is a separate entity from geriatric services and which is separate from testing labs. So depending which hat I'm wearing. Um, geriatric services oversees the medical care and the medical needs of the nearly 80 people that live in our long-term care setting, which is Harry's Haven, Mary Pickford House, and Herschel Place. And so it's working with uh, a really wonderful team of clinicians, nurse practitioner, um, physicians from UCLA, uh, to be able to meet their health care needs and be able to help um, them live the best quality of life as they can. The residents there are my heroes. I've grown up loving movies, watching the credits until the very end. We put tags on the end of Marvel Studios uh, uh, films in large part to force people to sit and look at all the credits and acknowledge all of the people that work so hard and have been working so hard. So uh, I really consider you heroes uh, helping heroes. Thank you very much for allowing me to uh, celebrate you on National uh, Superhero Day and for taking time to answer these questions. It was a great privilege of mine. So thank you so much and look forward maybe someday meeting you in person. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. That's uh, Marvel's Kevin Feige. You know, they're in the midst in the Marvel uh, universe, they're in the midst of the multiverse saga mm -hmm. right now. The yes. multiverse saga is there are all these different realities and there may be some place in the multiverse where MPTF isn't having financial difficulties. Mm. But let me tell you, it's not on this, this earth. <laughs> so that's why we're here. And we are so, so grateful at the support you have been showing since we signed on about an hour and a half ago. Yes. Speaking of Marvel, over in our phone bank, someone who knows all about the Marvel Universe and intimidating Sam Rubin. That's <laughs> <laughs> Clark Craig taking your calls live on our phone bank. Here's to all of our MPTF heroes who provide life-changing and life-saving medical care, support, social services, and palliative care. We're about to go on another MPTF journey with that man on the scooter, Bill Rosenthal. <laughs> and still to come, two brilliantly talented and beloved members who've been working the phones tonight are going to give up, give up themselves and sing the Oscar-nominated song they wrote for A Mighty Win. Indeed. But first, please keep giving and check this out. Yeah, let me have a hard shell taco, uh, bean, cheese, onion. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew Hi. I'd find you here. <laughs> what are you getting? Uh, just a couple tacos. Good idea. I might join you. I love being here on the MPTF campus today. Everyone's been so great to me. They were so sweet to me and took such good care of me, and they even fed me, so I wanted to return the favor. So I called my friend Roy Choi, the great Roy Choi, who invented the Kogi truck. Here it is for everybody. Get some tacos, people. Come on.
I love your show, by the way. Thank you, dear. But don't let it go to your head. Get a ring in! <laughs> what, uh, tell me your connection here. I'm not part of the Wasserman campus, and um, I, years ago, needed some help, and yep. I came to the Motion Picture Television Fund, and they were able to help me keep my house. But now I have a fairly well-paying job, so I'm giving back to the Motion Picture Television Fund. Awesome. So it's been great. Lights, camera, take action! Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz with Turner Classic Movies. At TCM, we celebrate all things movies, especially the legacies of film, filmmakers, and filmmaking. It's why I feel so at home and love coming out here to the Motion Picture Campus. There is just so much history here. For the 100th anniversary, I came back to the MPTF Campus to meet more of the remarkable people who live here and who shape the heart and the spirit of our industry. Hi, this is Brian Cranston. I hope you'll join me in supporting MPTF. Social isolation and loneliness impact the lives of one in three older adults. So MPTF created a social connectivity program called Daily Call Sheet that connects volunteers with our elders in the entertainment community. Hundreds of participants have already connected in the program. Won't you help? We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. I, th I see a theme yeah. emerging here. Please take action so that MPTF can be there to help another century. Yes, your calls are helping us to get to that important goal. Now, some of those generous people are Mark Smith, who gave $1,000 in memory of Beverly Nadine, Carolyn Ab Abisha, member of Local 600, $200, $50 from Carly Lucille in honor of MPTF social workers. Cheryl Meyerson gave $100 in honor of Richard Meyerson, and thank you to longtime supporter of Delta Dental for their generous gift of $10,000. Wow. Let's go back to Sam at the phone bank. Sam? You know, we're going to hear uh, from Annette O'Toole. And, oh, here we go. Hang on. Uh, we believe that's Aubrey Plaza on the phone. We're going to find out if it, in fact, is Aubrey Plaza. Uh, um, they were in a movie together, Clark and Aubrey, <laughs> called The To-Do List, and uh, Clark uh, played Aubrey's father. So we'll, we'll see if she agrees to go on speakerphone with us. At least he's warning her now. Uh, yes, we'll... Oh my God. Well, oh, Drew, they're calling... Right now. Yeah, we, sure, here we go. Ready, Absolutely. Ready, right. Hey, Aubrey Plaza, how are you? I'm good, how are you guys? Very, um, so very, for what you guys are doing. I've been trying to call all night. Well, well we're... Want to take my call. Well, we're, we're happy to take your call, Aubrey Plaza, and we're glad that you got through. Yeah. Um, you know what, there's nobody in entertainment at the moment, and we have a phone bank full of stars, and they all agree, who's having a greater career moment in the sun than you. How does it feel? Yeah, how does it feel? You know what, supposedly I'm having a moment, you know, but the thing is, I'm not doing anything different than I normally do. If everyone around you changes, you know, I haven't changed. I'm just doing what I normally do. She hasn't just changed. Just along, yeah. just making my movies. Clark knows what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about, girl. Yeah. When people start to give a shit, I don't know. People start to give a shit. I, I can't control that. All I'm doing is what I like to do is make things. And uh, make things, you know, that people, that people like. People really, really love White Lotus, so reveal all things, if you would. The finale is on Sunday. Tell us everything. I'm a murderer. I'm going to kill every character <laughs> in that show. They're all fucking dead. Okay. And they should know. Right. I got to say, Aubrey, Emily, Emily the Criminal, my favorite movie of the year. I think you got a nomination coming, girl. It's called. It's a really small movie. It took, took us years to get together. You know, it's just a very small movie, but it's breaking through the noise. And independent films, they really can make a difference, don't you think? Indeed, indeed they can. Aubrey, it's really nice. Uh, congratulations to you. And for people watching uh, who are fans of yours, why do you want that? Why do you want to encourage them to support the Motion Picture and Television Fund? Yeah. Well, because I just believe in what you guys what you guys are doing and without your support you know we our industry wouldn't be what it is today and i i just think that you know it's not just about art you know we, we all have to band together we have to support each other um we're making a living there this is our livelihood so so we have to you know these, these kinds of causes are really important so so i'm 100 percent behind what you guys are doing and i 
and um, and I'd like to support it any way that I can. Terrific. Well, everyone well, should get along. Good. I'm going to be right ready. back in touch with you for your donation. <laughs> yeah, we'll call you up for the donation. And it's not yeah, enough. I'm going to reach back out. You'll <laughs> reach back out here. And yeah, we, we do for You're for the, a hot moment. For those of you watching, uh, what happens with live yeah, TV? Aubrey may Bye. not have been aware that it was exactly live TV, so we apologize <laughs> a little bit for the language, and uh, hopefully that did not take anybody back. But what Aubrey was that saying. Was the cleanest I've ever heard. <laughs> okay. Well, well, there's that. We should tell you, uh, you can donate right now and call us at 818-876-1020. It's 818-876-1020. Uh, I, I tell you what, that, that was really fun to talk to her, and there really is nobody uh, having a moment uh, as she is having at, at this moment. Let's go down to our phone bank here. Uh, Spencer, another interesting call. I just talked to uh, a son of Hollywood royalty, uh, Peter Chomsky whose dad was Marvin Chomsky, who produced uh, Roots and The Holocaust, among many, many other shows. Um, he's a producer himself. His wife's an actor. His daughter is an aspiring director, actor, writer. And he said they just want to support us. And uh, and he hopes that we do this telethon every year. I uh, just got off the phone with him, a donation of $100. Peter Chomsky, thank you so much. That's that just amazing. And he produces Hell on Wheels and uh, Fargo and Dead to Me and among other things. So Peter is part of our our large family, uh, our large community of, uh, of show business artists and, and artisans. So, uh, Adrian, we had this conversation earlier. You have spent time there yes. on the campus mm -hmm. and how inspiring it is and how informative that is. Uh, we're encouraging people to call in those who haven't yet. Why should they call in? You should call in because you should get to, go, to get to know this community of people. There's extraordinary people with stories about this entertainment industry, and they're there, and they're, if you're part of the entertainment industry, these are the people that are the backbone of it, and you should know all of the people that are part of it. Uh, and the really, really good work that the Motion Picture and Television Fund yeah. is doing. Um, all right, Rob, we've learned that you will take some offers, you will audition for some parts. Yes. What? <laughs> I'm here for Clark's okay. Clark is writing, directing, I will audition. That's about it. Okay. They're, they're, does he require you to audition? Yeah, is it? I don't understand. He's seen my work. I've known him for 50 years, <laughs> and uh, he makes me still audition for him. Yeah. Doing a self -tape yeah, he told me self tape. He wouldn't even meet with me. <laughs> True? Well, you know what? I, I'm so appreciative of your work with the MPTF. I'll let you audition. <laughs> I'm just saying. There we go. I'm just saying. Okay, uh, here we go. <laughs> Let's add a Bob uh, uh, Belcher, of course, who uh, Beecher, Bob, Bob Course, president of the whole thing. Um, what does tonight mean? Uh, it means that we are going to be able to provide a lot more support for industry members on our campus and in the community. Uh, and it means that the message is getting out there and people understand that uh, this, this industry is not only about people in front of the screen, al although they're uh, incredibly important, but it's about all those hundreds of people on the set every day doing, doing the hard work that makes it all happen. And those are primarily the folks that we support. And uh, with this incredible generosity from the community, more of that's going to be able to happen. That's terrific. Yeah. Mike, you work with those people that are supported by MTF. I'm gonna reach over, uh, and Alexander Smothers is on the phone. Nice to see you, glad that you're here. Uh, you tell us, uh, IATSE does wonderful work day in and day out on TV sets and movie sets, and how the fund uh, supports some members who've worked as crew members. The fund supports the entire industry, and its importance as a safety net for an industry that can be very difficult for people in all parts of it. And it's an industry that I think everyone that's part of knows can tend, tends to chew people up and spit them out a little bit. And the Motion Picture Television Fund is there to shore people up. And there is so much more to the fund. I think most people are familiar with the campus, but there's so much more to the fund, whether it's helping veterans with their benefits, whether it's providing social services for families that need it, whether it's f food banks during crises like COVID, offering flu shots to the community, or going to industry members' homes and helping them remodel if they've had um, illness or sickness, whether it's building a ramp or painting a house or helping the industry members to stay in their own home if they've had some challenges. So the MPTF does so much, and I think Bob mentioned earlier, um, regularly helping more than 3,000 industry members outside of the home itself. So there are countless services that are available to the industry, and it's all due to the support of the industry itself. So tonight's a night for all of us to appreciate what we have, appreciate the amazing business that we're in, 
and dig a little deeper than me otherwise would have and make this a Christmas present to everyone in the industry to support the people that we have the pleasure to work with every day. And that's what the fun's about. I tell you, yes. Now we know why we, why, why we brought it. Indeed, uh, you mentioned so many laudable things. The, the food drive uh, amongst them, that is really extraordinary. And in these times that so many people need food support. Events like food banks are particularly impactful when you have an immediate crisis that was totally unanticipated. And when COVID hit the entertainment industry, I don't think there were very many people that were in a position to have planned for an overnight eight month plus shutdown. And there are a lot of families that when those paychecks stop coming in, they still have to make the mortgage payments. They still have to go to the grocery store. They still have to put food on the table for the families. So whether it's a food bank, um, whether it's being able to go to social services and ask for assistance or a veteran who's in need, um, all of those things add up to a really broad industry safety net and tonight is gonna to help keep that safety net healthy. We appreciate that. I tell you what, I believe we've got another tote to that end. Yvette and Tom have some good news for us. Okay. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, well, can I just say, before we go to the tote, three big takeaways uh, for me tonight. Uh, number one, the continuing support to MT. PTF is crucial. Mm -hmm. Number two, I have to start watching uh, White Lotus. Apparently by tonight, because Sammy three, told us everything. Sammy told three, us everything. I would watch a talk show hosted by Clark Gregg. So would I. Yeah. <laughs> so All right, would. Susan Lowitz from uh, Local 871 gave $20 in memory of Bernie Lee Knotts. Darlene and Bruce Berkey gave $200 in honor of Bob Beecher and MPTF uh -huh. staff. And King Street Capital Management called in with five grand. Oh, yeah. Yep, and Patricia, Patricia Mark from Local 700 gave $25, and Debbie Nowicki gave two, a $20 gift. Like Sam said, I believe he said it was hard to keep up. Uh, <laughs> it's been a mighty fun night, but this telethon must end even as the need to support MPTF continues. But first, here to raise their voices and sing their Oscar-nominated song, A Kiss at the End of the Rainbow, two treasured friends of MPTF, Annette O'Toole and Michael McKean. have all been told there's a kiss at the end of the rainbow more precious than a pot of gold in tales of ancient glory every night and maiden fair shall be joined quest is over and the kiss is the oath that they swear and, and when, when the veil of dreams has lifted and the fairy tales have all been told there's a kiss at the end of the rainbow more precious than a part of My sweet, my dear, my darling, you're so far away from me. Though an ocean of tears divides us, let the bridge of our love span the sea. And when the veil of dreams has lifted, and the fairy tales have all been told There's a kiss at the end of the rainbow More precious than a part of gold Your kiss more precious than a part of gold Woo! Yes! Annette O'Toole! Michael McKee, thank you so much. You too. Michael was telling me this area was where the jazz singer was uh, it's shot. Funny. Warner Brothers uh, original uh, originally had this place. Yeah. The jazz singer from the jazz singer to Hannah Montana. Wow. And everything in between. 
All the way to Judge Judy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you have quite the, quite the range there. Yeah. How, how long have you guys been? My wife and I just celebrated our 40th. Oh, wow. Yeah. Gosh, we can't come close no, to we're that. We're hikers. 20, yeah. We're coming up on 24. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. that's Hollywood time. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's Hollywood time 24 is like 60 mm -hmm. in New England. Yeah, I guess yeah, we're okay. yeah. Well, you're like at 100 now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, some days I feel it. Yeah. Looking good. <laughs> Thanks again for being oh, here and helping, and helping so us support it. Yeah. It was an honor. So Thank good. It was an so honor. good. So good. All right, where are we now? Oh, all right. We want to obviously thank Annette and Michael. There yes. is still time to laugh, learn, and give, but hurry because we are just about ready to reveal our grand total for tonight. We are moments hey away. It's Jody. Everybody out there at MPTF, I wish I could be there for the telethon on Saturday, but instead I'm stuck in my trailer in Iceland. I just want to tell you, lights, camera, take action. Hello, this is Ryan Johnson, and I'm here with Janelle Monet, Eduardo Norton, Kate Hudson, <laughs> Catherine Hahn. We are the cast and the writer and director of Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery, and we want to encourage everybody out there to support the Motion Picture Television Fund. It's a fantastic organization that helps people in our industry who need it the most in really hard times. So lights, camera, take action. Yes. Please pick up those phones and call. Uh, on behalf of Glass Onion yes. and all of us, you are Happy holidays. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thanks, Thank guys. You. <laughs> Remember when I said we we're moments away from uh, revealing the big total? That's an important point. It's worth uh, <laughs> repeating. Daryl Wilson just called in with $100. Jacqueline Green gave $100 in honor of Kate Johnson and Dean Johnson. Judy Richmond gave $100. Jane Doctor, a member of uh, Local, there is, there is still time to donate. The phone lines. Well, what are you saying in my ear? <laughs> so you got to say it again. You got to say that. We, we just... Local 75. There we okay. Go. Wonderful, and uh, now that you've interrupted my train of thought, just keep scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Amanda. Okay. Tonight would not be possible without the support of City National Bank and UCLA. He yes! Yay! UCLA, hey! Yay! UCLA Health and all the amazing companies and donations that have shown up to help, and we are getting word in that there is another company to thank. All right. Have you helped MPTF beat the goal set a mere two hours ago? Are you still calling the phone bank? Because they're all here. They're all here. <laughs> they're all here. Uh, if you've been paying attention to all the great names scrolling on the bottom of the screen, you all make it on the nice list this year, <laughs> as did NKSFB, my business managers, especially our friend and managing partner, Mickey Siegel, because they have given... Wow. $160,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad, is, I'm glad I paid my bill. Absolutely. <laughs> this is something that I want to say about MPTF in particular. Um, we get a lot of things here as people in this industry, and this is our opportunity to give back to those that came before us. There are people at that, that campus that have done everything that we're all doing, and if you've ever loved entertainment, if you want to be in entertainment, this is an organization you should give to so that this safety net is there when you need it. It's like a tie that you give in advance. Yeah. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Okay. With their help and support and incredible, incredible donations, how much more can we send to MPTF? MPTF, let's see what the magic MPTF tote board has to say. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Ready or not, here it comes. Oh! All right! Woo! Wow. Oh Read it, Tom! Wow. Look at that, $858,493. Ah, I can't believe it. This is going to help so many people. Thanks to everyone here at KCLA, Sam Rubin, all the volunteers at our phone bank, uh, and to Jonas Myron and Annette O'Toole and Michael McKeon, um, who I believe are going to play us out. And thanks to uh, Johnny Mathis, Brian Cranston, oh God, Jody yeah. Foster, Phil Rosenthal, Jeff Bridges, Hugh Jackman, Brad Paisley, Susanna Hoss, June Squibb. There are just too many to, to, to mention. Aubrey Plaza. I love CGI Balloon. <laughs> <laughs> And thanks to all of you watching for helping us exceed tonight's goal. The telethon is coming to a close. Our doors are always open for your continued donations at mptf.com or by texting MPTF to 41444. Your help is vital to MPTF's future. Thank you, my dear. Oh, always thank a you, Tom. It was a joy. Always what a, a night. Thank you, everyone. Be kind to yourself and everyone else. Good night. Happy holidays. And thank you.